Um, Caroline from France says, what are normal cholesterol levels on a living foods diet? That by following a living foods diet, her levels have dropped from 175 to 125, and she's wondering if the values can get too low. Well, number one, if she's on the right uh, Hippocrates living food diet, her values will never get too low. Uh, she's exactly where you should be. This is what those of us who have lived on raw food for decades have. We have all below 150. 120 to 130 is very common, so Caroline's right in the, right in the bucket right there. And uh, why then, one would be thinking, do they on medical blood tests often tell you that 200 is fine? Well, how we get standards on medical blood tests other than the CBC, which are the blood cell studies, they're accurate, but the other one is by putting thousands of people into a computer or a statistician's hand and seeing what the normal average is. So the normal average they see, so many people have 300 cholesterol, they figured out the normal average is 200. Well, any thinking person who understands biological science would know about the Framingham studies. The Framingham studies, which are now in their 65th year, introduced the whole concept of cholesterol and the effect and impact it has on human anatomy and health. Literally, they've said that nobody has ever had a major heart attack or stroke with a 150 general standard cholesterol reading. We're not talking about low-density lipids or high-density lipids, but a 150 or below is what they found after hundreds of thousands of people, 65 years into this, is normal. So what you see with the raw living food diet, 150 or below, and what the, the epitome of scientific biological research on cholesterol says are the same. 